tying knots is something everyone can do, and there are infinite ways of tying a knot, which is something you will have already discovered if you've ever been bored and found a piece of string to play with. In surgery, it's not just about tying the knot. It's about discovering the right knot for each situation. Take sliding knots, for example. You can make a very simple one by loosely tying a square knot and pulling on the ends at a 90 degree angle. But here's a more secure surgical sliding knot. It starts off with four throws of suture material over the needle holder. The short end of suture material is grabbed and pulled through all four loops. This creates some twists with a loop at the base through which the short end is passed. This creates a new loop and the short end is passed through that one too. If whatever is being tied off is deep in the body, needle holders slide it down to where it needs to go. Once it is slid down to its destination, the short end can be pulled to lock the knot. If it's being tied in more superficial tissues, both ends can be pulled together to slide the knot in place. I challenge you to invent variations of the sliding knot, test their different properties, and who knows, your name may go down in knot history.